close your eyes, and settle into a sense of well-being. We have the opportunity to come and join in with friends in the Dharma, admirable friends, to make merit by being generous, observing the precepts. Puts the mind in a good mood. We're doing something good in the world. And as a John Fuing would say, once you've got that good mood in the mind, invest it in even more merit. In other words, meditate. Because when we're meditating, we're watching the mind. And the mind's easiest to watch when it's in a good mood. Particularly the kind of good mood that comes from being with, again, admirable friends, practicing the Dharma. You look at your actions and you don't see anything that you could criticize yourself for. You're developing good qualities in the mind. And the well-being that comes from that, that's something you want to maintain and invest in the meditation. So you can watch. You can begin to see how the mind, when it slips away from doing good like this, creates suffering for itself. You want to ask yourself, why? Why would it do that? You've got something good right here. It's as if you've been preparing some good food for yourself and then someone brings some junk food for you. You ask yourself, why would I want to take that? John Fung had a couple of students one time, they were sitting and meditating. And one of them went home after the meditation and started talking with their neighbor, and the neighbor was gossiping about this person, that person, and the good mood that the student had gotten from the meditation had just disappeared. So she went to complain to John Fung, why would that good mood disappear like that? Why doesn't it stay? And he told her, you're taking gold and you're exchanging it for excrement. Once you've got gold, you want to maintain it, keep it. Don't exchange it for anything that's of lesser value. So you keep on investing the goodness you've done to create even more goodness. And the more goodness there is in the mind, the easier it is to see what's going on in the mind. So if the mind is doing anything unskillful at all, you can catch it right away. That's the best kind of mind to bring to the meditation. So when you make merit, to, to change the analogy a little bit, and John Lee would say you need to find a place to keep the merit, keep it in your mind. And John Fung's image is of investing it, investing it in the mind. And that way it will bear greater benefits, and keep on bearing good benefits. Don't let the goodness you've created go to waste.